Hello nerds, this is the Numenoid, and we're on pole by a long margin because as you can see we're on BC because in the last race in the group 4 and the daily race 2 B actually we kind of fucked up and we had a thing with the guy and we kind of didn't want to let him pass and that's why we dropped down all the way to Bailey C Bay C, Bay C, and as you can see, we're on pole. Flashing those likes like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Those flashlights really doesn't matter. And uh, immediately as we start, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump. To the guy in second because this guy had an immediate run on us in the first corner just look at this we break at the 50 board but he just gets a godly run insane perfect entry perfect outry third gear going out just behind and really nothing I could do with it. At the moment of this I was thinking okay I'm just gonna let you go I, ho I hope I get you at the end of the race you see I can bump him kind of but he doesn't lose time I do though you don't see it here but I lose a lot of time I lose like a second but I'm still kind of trying to stay behind him but as you can see, while I'm drunk, I'm missing all the apexes, trying to hit the brakes way too early, third gear way too early, first gear, second gear, losing a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of time. And I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to keep up with this guy basically at this point because I don't know he was pretty quick actually for a BC I don't know what he was doing in C because he was pretty he was pretty clean he was pretty clean as you can see in the in the remainder of the race as you can see way too way too late on the brakes and Oh my god, just way too, way too, way too, way too late. Uh, and the remainder of the race, you can see, well, not too bad. Trail breaking there, third gear, fourth gear. Trying to... Yeah, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. But we're still not ganging a lot, so... Yeah, we're trying to keep up with this guy, but he's not that that slow, actually. At this point, I was trying to figure out if he was, uh, if he was on a controller or a wheel, and it, his, and it seems like he was on a controller. He was, he was hitting the trail breaking point nicely, but just... Uh, the acceleration was way too good on my part so I was gaining on him on the last straight a lot and I was thinking I was probably gonna get him there if anywhere because you know that's the best place to overtake him, unless it's on the fourth corner after the center ass, as you can see here so yeah, that was pretty much that. As you can see, braking kind of too early, but nicely on the throttle, but still too wide, trying to get the nice entry tied to the line, and 
breaking at the 50 meter board going nicely inside and trying to gain on him all the time but <laughs> being drunk as I am as I'm recording this it's just is is just it is not working out it's like trying to pin a ball into a fucking working shop it's not it's not working it's just not working as you can see here I'm trying to do it but I, I, I just can't seem to it just it's like I'm, I know what I'm trying to do I know what I have to do but I just can't do it it's just like it's a it's a problem you know it's I'm trying to do it I know what to do but I just can't to apply that that pressure that I need to under the opponent because I don't know it's just impossible meanwhile my cyclist out of the first corner at the center as but kind of wide under the entry so we're kind of losing time but still nicely on the 100 meter board going left trying to hug the apex going quickly on the throttle but still too late for my measures and trying to go behind him go behind him go trying to put him offline trying to put him offline still going wide that's what I was wondering where do they lose the time these guys in the BC they lose time by going not enough wide in the corners to carry enough speed on the next corners. As you can see, I'm going way off wider as this guy, and the British guy just goes nicely there. But here he breaks too early, and that's where I get a run. But here he kind of nudges me. He kind of nudges me, but not intentionally because. That's just his line, it's just his line that was I was not aware of at the time, it's just his line and I was trying to break later but decided to break at my earlier point, at my normal point and just follow him because I was kind of trying to plan it to attack but as you can see I lost the back end and just lose another second at a three tenths and we're still behind him and it's lap six and i just can't comprehend what i'm doing while i'm drunk because it's insane i'm just losing so much time i'm going like half a second faster while i'm driving normally but at the moment i'm just losing so much time and while I'm driving it, I don't even know it. I just lose time, and I don't. I I'm I'm trying to understand where I lose time, but I don't understand it. But as I'm watching back, I understand it perfectly. Way too early on the brakes. Way too late on the throttle. Not enough offset with the wheel to really push forward on the acceleration so it's really the little things that get you faster you know so it's lap six going into the first corner breaking between the 50 and 100 going way too wide but we're still kind of close we're close we're close, but we're going to wide on the entry exit. Sorry, we're going to wide on the exit. The guy on <laughs> getting left, like the better word, getting left. And as you can see, we're behind the fucking funky colored livery behind him, and we're gaining. We're always gaining, trying to get on, trying to just get him unsettled, trying to get him uneasy, trying to put him offline and 
we're kind of succeeding because he goes way too narrow on that line and we get a nice exit we get now on the line but this is where he excels the last corner that's where he excels so that's where I knew I had to recover that's where I knew I had to get better if I wanted to overtake him because after the center ass he was way too good and I knew I had to get him onto the main straight as you can see start of lap 8 breaking between the 50 and the 100 nicely getting it done not too wide getting with the third gear short shifting and nicely breaking Still a little too wide, but a nice speed nonetheless. Breaking at the hundred, trail breaking into the third, getting on the power nice early. Still a little too late. It really shows that I'm driving this drunk because my reflexes are nowhere near where they are supposed to be. But he makes a mistake here, so we're gonna follow him here. As you can see, as you can see, he still goes narrow, I go wide to get a nicer entry, to get a lot more speed of the, the hairpin. So we're going, we're going, we're going nicely late on the brakes. Power nice and early and You'll see the problem here. You'll see the problem here. We're not close enough. We're just not close enough. And that's what we know. Even though this is BC, I'm still drunk C. And you just can't do it. We're trying to do it, but we're close. As you can see, we're close as we can be going nice on the power early but still we kind of nudge him and that gives him the speed to go out further and yeah he was just he was just for me at that state he was just too quick and I was trying to pinpoint the location where I can overtake him and I just couldn't do it so I just thought main straight and that's where I started to do this he was going really narrow on this corner so I tried to go wider to get the better exit speed and kind of losing it but still close enough we're going into the second trying to get a better short shift better extraction of the corner and we're kind of close but not close enough we're going later on the brakes and later on the power early on the power and uh, we kind of got him here we kind of got him here that's what i was thinking we got him here we absolutely got him here we're just gonna get the inside and we got him here but this is where the insolence comes from we're setting up the move we're setting up the move we're trying to set up the move but we just can't do it we're picking him out to the inside he's losing time by going defensive and we're trying to get the narrow line to get a better exit but he covers us off so we can't really do it we go late but we still can but we're close we're close we're getting sober we're getting sober guys and we're trying to get that second to get that extra bite get that second again early on the power we kind of do it nicely but he does it even better and I think he was on a controller, so he's doing really good. And this is where it all pays off. We're going early under the fourth gear. Laking, breaking later and entering 
very late, very late, and this is where we make our money, boys. But it's not entirely as you would say clean. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of, uh, as you can see, we're nudging, we're nudging, we're nudging. We don't really nudge him, but. As I was driving, I didn't really feel I was nudging him. But as you can see here, I did really nudge him. So I did apologize to that for to him after the race. He didn't really, uh, he didn't really acknowledge it. He just said it's okay and just move on. But we did really kind of nudge him wide, but. As you can see, we're gonna win here by like two seconds or whatever, but I did nudge him wide there, so I just want to apologize to that guy, to that guy, to the dude, and uh, I hope the next time we meet, it's in the A plus S rankings, and you're gonna get it right, and you're gonna get it good, and we're gonna race until the end of the times we get the 120th win what yeah that's right uh, that doesn't really matter but uh, it's the 120th win we get the XP almost at the platinum trophy we uh, say thanks to the guy we say sorry to the guy because uh, we did kind of nudge him wide but it doesn't really matter we would have won anyway so thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one